Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Zips Men's Soccer with head coach Jared Embeck. I'm your host, Chrissy Perbonic. In this edition, we recap the weekend's play. We introduce you to some of the best super fans in the nation and also look forward to the Cleveland State game this Wednesday. Coach, the team played very dominant on offense this week against Hartwick, but it was a difficult loss in the end. What are your thoughts on this play? Yeah, I think for us, it's you know disappointing. I mean, the loss is unacceptable for Akron soccer and you know the players. We got to find a way to win that game, and yeah, we dominated the stat line, um, but we got to find ways to put those into the goal and make sure we dominate the scoreboard. And we didn't do it, and when that happens, sometimes you know the other teams make some plays, and you know they made a play in the box on a throw-in, and their keeper had a great game, and now we're sitting at a bad loss. And as a head coach, how do you mental mentally carry your team past this? Uh, yeah, we're not going to panic. I think uh, for us, you know, it's just subtle things. We got to come more together as a team. We got to become stronger. We got to each look inside ourselves and bring out more. Um, you know, and those are the things. And and the nice thing about if there is a nice thing about the loss is you get to do that. And you know, it's a humbling experience because of who you lost to, what their record was, and where we lost it. Uh, but you know, I think we can use it for good. And there's a lot to play for. And this team's still capable of achieving a lot. Absolutely. When we come back, we'll introduce you to some of the strongest su student super fans in the nation. Even the smallest Zip can be a part of the team by joining Zippy's Kids Club. It's the coolest club around for kids 12 and under. Zippy's Kids Club is presented by North Akron Savings Bank. For more information, visit gozips.com slash Zippy's Kids Club. <laughs> I'm joined with Willie Coleman, Assistant Director of Alumni Relations for the University of Akron. Willie, you played an important role in the foundation of the AK Rowdies. Can you tell us a little bit about your story? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I joined the University of Akron as a freshman at, uh, in 2003, and uh, through those years, Akron was, was just starting to go into a new era, if you will, with its athletic branding. And uh, one thing that was significantly lacking on campus was this, this pride and spirit uh, that the University of Akron you know, needed and um, you know, we're always looking for a blue and gold shirt and you're usually finding a, a shirt from another school on campus so the athletic department wanted to get its students a little more involved and with the help of uh, the athletic department and some, some other uh, graduate assistants at the time in marketing they put a group together called the AK Rowdies and we were approached by the, uh, the incoming men's soccer coach then head coach Caleb Porter um, to, to really kind of create a soccer group, if you will. And um, that just took off. Um, so we, we, we had the branding out there, uh, we pushed it heavily in, in new student orientation, and it just took off. We went from 150 members in around 2006 to over 1,100 members uh, in 2007. Today I'm joined with senior forward Eric Stevenson. Eric, as you were moving through recruitment and choosing different schools, how are the AK Rowdies a big impact on your decision for Akron? Uh, well, when I first came here, my first game, I remember seeing the whole hill was filled with Rowdies, and they just provided such a great atmosphere, and it was so loud in the stadium, there was a lot of excitement, so it got me really excited and pumped to come here. Coach, you've been here for a couple years with Akron, and you've seen the AK Rowdies kind of develop. What kind of impact have you seen them have on your team? Well, I think for us, they've had a tremendous impact. That they've gone from 20 people on the hill to, you know, in some games, a thousand. And uh, you, you know, that special connection between the players and the Rowdies uh, has been tremendous. Uh, I, I remember Michigan when we beat them 7-1. Their keeper basically admitting that the Rowdies took him out of the game, and you know, he couldn't recover and. There's been many other uh, opponents that the Rowdies have done that too. And, you know, when they're at their best, our team's at their best. Absolutely. The Rowdies were established in 2005 and continued to be strong ever since. 
When we come back, Coach and I will preview the upcoming game against Cleveland State. Zips fans, register today for the new and improved Rewards program. Earn points and prizes for interacting with the Zips on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and more. Registration is free and easy, and you could win tons of great prizes. Visit ZipsRewards.com today to begin collecting points. Welcome back to Zips Men's Soccer with head coach Jared Embeck. I'm your host, Chrissy Pervonik. Coach, we're midway through the season. There's still plenty of time to turn things around. What is the main focus for the team going forward? Yeah, I think we're still trying to improve and, and settle in. You know, with injuries and stuff, mm -hmm. we haven't been able to settle in on the preferred lineup, and I think that's something you can probably see happen the second half. But, you know, in our mentality, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think our play for the most part has been pretty well. Uh, but we haven't put teams away. We haven't necessarily done some of the things psychologically that we need to improve on to win. And I think if we can become tougher and learn from some of the experiences we've had that have not been what we wanted, well, we're going to be fine. Putting these experiments or experiences, excuse me, into play. What are your expectations for Cleveland State game? You know, it's going to be a tough game. Every time we play them at their place, it's tough. And, you know, the records don't matter. Uh, these guys know each other w way too well, so they're going to be, you know, ready for us. And it's a big game for them, and it's a big game for us this Wednesday. So, you know, our expectation is always to win, and, and I expect that on Wednesday. And, you know, I think you're going to see a pretty good response from us. Zips men's soccer hit the road Wednesday, October 9th to Cleveland State, kickoff at 7.30 p.m. Zips return home October 15th as they play host to Wake Forest at First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field. For ticket information, call 1-888-99-ACRON or visit zipstickets.com. For head coach Jared Embeck, I'm Chrissy Perbonic. We'll see you next time.